Hey guys, Extremicide here with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare Best Class Setup Guide. This is a series where I share with you the absolute best setup for various guns without all the fluff and over the top information that you don't really care about. I may not be the first to get the info out there, but I can promise you I've done my research. But keep in mind that these are my viewpoints and maybe you will and maybe you won't agree or disagree with them. And that's fine. I won't be getting overly technical by supplying statistics in these guides. Every time Modern Warfare receives a new patch and a weapon gets buffed or nerfed, those numbers change. So I'm not going to waste my time and yours giving you information that is going to end up being inaccurate in about a month's time. With all that out of the way, let's get started. So in today's best setup, we are talking about the Finn, a light machine gun otherwise known as an LMG, and specifically a mid to long range setup for this gun. This LMG is free as of the Season 5 mid-season patch and is unlocked by getting one melee kill with a LMG in seven different matches. This is easily done in seven matches on the shipment map. The Finn is an interesting LMG in the aspect that there is actually two different versions of the gun depending on the type of barrel you put on it. In other words, the barrel itself acts as a conversion kit. With that said, this video is all about the long range version of the gun. And if you play larger maps, Ground War, or Warzone, then stick around because this is the video you want to see. If, however, you are looking for a short range version of the gun, you can find the link to that video down in the description below. When looking at the barrels, you will see that there are normal barrels and barrels marked as adverse. The adverse barrels affect the fire rate and the damage potential. They deliver a higher rate of fire and have additional bullets in the magazine reducing the need to reload after every engagement. But with these benefits also come additional negative stats on the barrels, hence why they are called adverse. It should also be mentioned that while the adverse barrels are giving a faster rate of fire, the bullets that are shot out of those barrels will actually be doing less damage than if you were using a normal barrel. Oh, and I almost forgot, with these adverse barrels, the guns won't shoot as far and will have much more recoil because of the faster bullet speeds. With an adverse barrel attached, this becomes a short range LMG and if you're looking for that kind of build then check out the link in the description below to take a look at my short range build for the Fed and to find out how to turn this into a hip firing beast. This build however is more focused on using a normal barrel and making this a more traditional mid to long range LMG. The gun itself is slower than all of the current LMGs in the game with the exception of the SA-87. Because of its slower speed, it has very little recoil making it one of the most accurate guns in the game. Movement speed, meaning running around speed, is actually quite good where LMGs are concerned. Running around with this gun feels more on par with like running around with an assault rifle instead of an LMG. Its aim down sight speed is tied with the Hauger as having the fastest aim down sight speed in the LMG category. My build expands on all of this, making this LMG a great mid to long range beast. So what is my overall opinion of the Finn LMG? Well, I think it's the Swiss Army knife of LMGs giving you lots of choices to tweak it into whatever kind of gun you want it to be. It's definitely a hybrid mix of an assault rifle and an LMG and should serve you well in both core gameplay and in Warzone as long as you're not using an adverse barrel with the short range build of the gun. As far as LMGs go, this thing is so accurate. It's pretty hard to miss shots with this bad boy and I thought it was a pretty good addition to the game. This setup improves upon the Finn's accuracy, range, fire rate, and control while dealing a hit to mobility while using the normal barrels to make this a more traditional mid to long range LMG. And I gotta say, this setup melts people at those ranges. So with that said, let's take a look at my go-to loadout for this particular LMG. All right, so let's jump right into this and start building our Finn long-ranged version. First thing we're gonna do is go up the muzzle and we're gonna select the monolithic suppressor. This is gonna increase our sound suppression, our damage range, and more importantly in Warzone, it's gonna keep our shots from showing up on the minimap. Next, we're gonna hop over to barrel. And as stated before, some of these have an adverse effect. Any barrel that you select that has an adverse effect is just going to make it so this becomes a short range gun, which we do not want. So 
The barrel we want to go with is the XRK Long Shot Advantage. This will increase our damage range, our bullet velocity, and our recoil control. Next we head over to Optic. And Optic is a personal choice you can run with anything you want, but I found that the VLK 3.0 Optic um, works very well on this gun. And next we're going to jump down to Underbarrel. And we're going to select the Ranger Foregrip for more recoil control and any stability. And lastly, we're going to hop over to Perk. And this gun has really bad reload time. So we're going to help that out a little bit by going with Sleight of Hand. So there you have it. A very accurate mid to long range LMG. Now the only thing this gun needs is the perfect loadout. Okay, so here's the deal. I was on the fence on whether or not to include the loadout that I use when leveling this gun up, but I kind of knew that if I didn't include it, someone was going to ask for it, so here it is. Now, keep in mind that this is only an example loadout, a suggested loadout, that worked well for my playstyle and my strengths. This may not necessarily be a best fit for you. Only you know what your playstyle is like and where your strengths lie. With that said, I strongly urge everyone to modify this example loadout to best suit your own gameplay style and strengths. The loadout overall is a personal thing, so make it personal to your own playstyle. And that brings us to our question of the day. Okay. Alrighty. So let me know your answer in the comments below. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. And with that said, if anything in the video helped you out at all, then please throw the video a like. And if you want to see other videos by me, throw me a sub. Anyways, until next time, be good to one another. Extermicide out.